Hey everyone, if you'd like to learn how to get this holiday look, then keep watching. Ooh, I'm out of focus or something. Okay. So as you can tell, I have no makeup on and this red was probably not the best color to use, but I'm feeling very festive. It's almost December and I just wanted to wear something Christmassy. I just got this new backdrop and it's like sparkly and I was playing around with that and it's not exactly what I want it to be, but I'm just gonna go with it. Uh, today I'm just gonna be using this Miracle Mist uh, from, from Pure, and it's basically just like a, a bunch of essential oils in it. And actually I've been using this this past week instead of my, let's try that. Oh no, what's happening? There we go. Huh. And I can really tell um, instead of my regular lotion that I've been using, I can really tell that it has helped with my acne, like dramatically. So I'm going to keep using that and I'll let you know um, if it gets worse or better or whatnot. Um, I'm also going to be using this uh, Smashbox Photo Finishing Primer. Um, it's also oil free. I have very oily skin, so um, I got to use something that's oil free. Um, and my mom actually got this in one of her monthly packages. I think it was her Ipsy bag or Birch box. I, I can't really remember. Um, so I'm just going to be using just a little dab of this right around my nose where my pores are enlarged. And the smell is actually pretty good. It feels silicone-y. Um, it's a little tinted. Um, I don't know if you can kind of see. It's It's not like white like the or clear like most of them are and I'm also gonna be putting this around my chin too and uh, we'll kind of see how that goes I'm just gonna kind of press this in instead of rubbing it around I don't want it to be um, just I don't want to keep wiping it away I'm gonna just kind of try to dab that in to my skin where I feel like I kind of need it which is like around my nose and my basically my t-zone and on my uh, chin area so uh, typically I use the Matte Poreless uh, Foundation by Maybelline. And I have really, really, really been liking this. It's the, sorry, Fit Me Poreless. I should have used the right uh, words on that. So um, I've actually been hearing all about this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour Foundation. And I will tell you, in the store this matched this like they look similar like this is the color I normally wear which is 125 new beige but this is what color is this 108 caramel beige and it is it's too dark so we're gonna just use it today and hope for the best and uh, you know we'll just see where we go I'll have to probably put a lot of highlighter on or concealer and that's okay. We'll just kind of work with it. Uh, so I'm just going to put a little bit. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is way too dark. Oh, I almost don't even want to put this on my skin, but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> so this is just way too dark. Look at that. This is ridiculous, but we're just going to kind of see, um, this is not even like, I don't even like the way this looks. I'm sure it's just because it's the color, so, you know, I just have a wet, uh, or a damp sponge is what I'm putting this on with. Um, I feel like it's going on easily. I can tell that I got to work fast with it because it is, it's drying a little bit. So this is very yellow or there's a, there's like a tint to it that is not I have a very cool scope cool cool school scope cool skin tone and this is definitely not my color so probably I can't really I don't know we'll kind of see how it goes from here I am also noticing a very odd smell that um, this is actually looking kind of blotchy on the camera but it looks pretty good on, but it's, I don't like the smell of it at all. It stinks, to be honest. It's, it's, I don't know. I'm not used to, I don't even know what smell that is. It's 
it's like a plastic smell like burning almost like a burning plastic kind of smell so I'm just gonna go ahead and try to build this up to see how good of a coverage we can get and I think that if I had the right color I think that I would actually like this you can still still see the redness in my cheeks um, but I mean I'm really used to that anyway and I don't mind if the redness shows through because I'm just used to that that's who I am so you know I'm not trying to cover up exactly who I am just a little bit <laughs> um, but you can definitely tell like the color is way off so go lighter I would suggest just go maybe a shade lighter than when you're whenever you're picking it out in the store um, also when you get it there's actually like a little foil um, peel thing off so just make sure that that's still on there whenever you get it because when I looked through some of them some of them had been sampled before like someone wanted to see you know before they bought it to make sure it was the right color <laughs> but um, it goes on pretty easily with the sponge um, I do feel like a lot of it is on the sponge like you can tell um, it just soaked it right up so maybe try it with a brush I don't know I should have done that too um, hmm I'm gonna actually wipe this side off okay so I have gone ahead and actually wiped off this side of my face with just a makeup wipe and I'm actually going to be trying it out with a sponge or I'm sorry a brush uh, just to see if it goes on any smoother I didn't I wasn't not really happy um, you can actually tell it's really thick like this is this is not going anywhere it's not very runny so um, that's good but I'm just gonna try it with the foundation brush and see what kind of coverage I get with that Again, the smell of this, I don't really like the smell of this at all. It's very strong. Like, I can smell it on my face. I'm not really liking, I'm not really a fan of uh, putting foundation on with a brush. I think that it just doesn't look as good. I know some foundations do better, but... I don't know if you can even see this. I feel like it's kind of, I don't know, picking up something in my skin. I'm not really sure. Not a fan though. So I will just continue to go ahead and put this on. Yep, it definitely looks a lot smoother on this side, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish blending this out with the sponge, um, just so I can... Now, I will say I didn't have to use as much foundation to put it on with the brush, so you could actually put it on with the brush and then dab it with the sponge just to kind of give it that flawless effect. Um, and then you wouldn't be going through as much product, which is always key. So the sponge, putting it on your hand, which is normally what I do, and then putting it on your face, you had a lot left over on your hand and you have a lot on the sponge and you're going to go through a lot more product that way. So um, I just have like these little dishes or I think they're really cute. I just, you know, sometimes I put the foundation in there. It kind of just depends on what mood I'm in. But you can see I have so much more foundation left over in this and I was able to finish this whole side of my face. So... I would probably recommend doing that if you do decide to use this. Um, I don't know. Let's just kind of see how it wears. I'll do the rest of my makeup and uh, we'll kind of just go from there. So uh, the um, concealer that I'm going to be using today is the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Concealer. Um, and it is in the color... Um, I don't know light medium now I actually have very pale skin like you can tell like this is like just horrible 
I do go outside, I promise, but I just, I'm not even one that tans easily at all. Um, so this concealer, it's going to be okay right now for this foundation because it's so dark. But if I'm using my regular foundation, it's, it's almost the same color. I really, honestly, I just cannot even tell, like, um, that I'm even using anything. So, you know, I'm just going to go back in with that same, uh, bl beauty blender and just kind of go in here and just kind of do quick, quick. Dab, dab, dab. I don't know. I'm kind of new to the concealer game. I, sh I really am just so curious. I feel like there's so many different concealers out there, and I really, I really need to just explore more. I'm kind of just like, I've tried a couple here and there, and then I'm like, uh, I'll just keep using this until I'm finished with it because, you know, it is what it is. Girl's got to save some money, you know what I mean? But if you have like a really good drugstore makeup concealer that you know of, you know, for us pale folks, I'd be really excited to see your comment down below. Because, you know, I don't know anything. I'm not a like a makeup artist or anything. So I just do this for fun because, you know, I like makeup. So anyway, there's that. Um, I also have this by Alta Beauty. It's a cream contour. Look at how hot I am right now. Woo! I'm going to have to take a break and cool down. These lights, my husband made this amazing vanity mirror for me. But we have 16 60 watt bulbs about two feet from my face, which is giving me great lighting. <sighs> But the girl is getting hot, so, you know, I'm going to have to take a break for a second. <laughs> I'll be right Okay, I'm back. Whew. So while I was cooling off, I went ahead and did my eyebrows. And, you know, eyebrows are just hard for me. They never look the same. Like some people, they're like, boom, boom. Takes them two minutes, and they look exactly the same. They look fantastic. And I'm just not one of those people. Sorry. That's just how it is. You know. What ifs? Anyway, um, I'm going to move on to contouring. Contouring. This foundation, y'all, it does not look good on camera. But, you know, I know it's not the right color. But it's looking pretty flawless on my face. I'm not even, even going to exaggerate here. Um, I am using the color Deep Contour from Ulta's Cream Contour Kit. Um, it looks like this. I use this one. It's not the darkest, but... This one, um, it's a little bit warmer. It's not as ashy as some of the other colors, like the lighter colors on there. They just don't even look good on my face, I don't think. My dog's gonna come in here for a second, so if you hear anything. He loves me. He always just sits right like by my feet right when I'm in like recording and stuff he's always just in here so which by the way this is my very first makeup video I'm sure you're probably like well yeah we already know because you're terrible at it but I don't really care I think this is so much fun so if you don't like me you don't have to watch me <laughs> but I mean makeup is just so much fun y'all like for real you can just feel so much better about yourself after you put makeup on. I mean, every girl is beautiful, whether you can wear makeup, um, whether you're not wearing makeup that day, but just something about putting makeup on and just feeling so good about yourself. Like, I don't know. I just love it. This cream contour, like I just really, I also am using this with a damp sponge. Um, and I just got this sponge at TJ Maxx. So I think it was like, I don't know, $4 maybe. I am not like an expensive makeup person. I have one really expensive, uh, it's not even really that, ex I mean it is expensive, but you know what I mean. It's the uh, Urban Decay Naked 3 palette, and I love that thing. I'm actually gonna be using it here in just a minute. I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna try a more like dramatic look. 
Ooh, we've got a little bit too much on this side. Um, kind of get the nose in there a little bit. I just kind of go like this and, uh, you know, I actually was watching another YouTube, another YouTuber and uh, she normally doesn't have makeup videos, so I was really excited. Her name is Jen Heward from Honey Buns Fit, and I love her. She is literally just, she's so positive, and like she's kind of going through a transition in her life that can be difficult, but she's just rocking it out. And you know, I don't even know this person. Like, I feel like she's my friend, <laughs> but um, she also does this with just the nose, and I was like, yes! somebody else that isn't like I have this special brush for just this one thing and this brush is $40 and nothing's wrong with that but you know let's be real guys I'm just trying to look good on a budget <laughs> so that was refreshing anyway um, I'm gonna move on um, before I do my eyeshadow I tend to get a little crazy and there's like fallout on my cheeks so to avoid that I just use this by elf and it is their Perfect Finish HD Powder in the color Clear. And I just like smash this underneath my eyes. It's called baking. I'm sure you guys have already known. This is kind of old news. But in case you don't know, you just get a glob of it. Nothing fancy. And you literally just press it onto the points um, where you had your conditioner. My dog like likes to scratch at the air vents. And I don't know. He's crazy. But he's a lab. And he just turned uh, one years old, and he is just our baby. And I just love him so much. Anyway, I just uh, kind of tap this on. And you see I'm not blending it in. It's loosely on my uh, on my face where the con conditioner, I think I said conditioner. Um, concealer is what I'm meaning to say. But anyway, oh well. Get that on there, and I'm just going to leave it sit there while I do my eye makeup. And while it's on, here it is, I found it. Um, anyway, this is, while it's on, I'm going to be doing my eye makeup, and then any of the fallout that comes with the eyeshadow, I'm just going to dust it away at the end. Um, it's really simple. So this is the eyeshadow palette that I'm going to be using. It looks so good with my background. I just love all these gold colors that are coming out. I'm so happy that... They're just kind of like, you know, popular right now because they're so pretty. Anyway, this is, I've used so much of this color, so I'm going to move over here to the darker colors that I've not used and see kind of what we've got going on. Um, I know a lot of people use an eyeshadow primer, and I have used them before. Ooh, did you see that? I've had to turn a fan on, so I'm sure you can hear that, but it's kind of like moving this around, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, the background's alive. Let's see, where is my eyeshadow brush? I can't find it. Oh well. Um, I'm not going to be using a eyeshadow uh, primer because I feel like and maybe it's just because I've not found the right primer yet. Um, my eyes get like saggy. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with uh, just a base color and it is called Strange and it is this uh, cream color right here on the end. Um, I'm just gonna go in with just like a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna tap that off. And then I'm just going to be putting this all over my lid and this way this just really helps um, when you go in with like your crease color it just helps set everything everything goes over a lot smoother and I actually learned this from Laura Lee um, she's also one of my favorite youtubers her and Casey Holmes do this I just love those two girls like they are mm, they're so fantastic um, I'm gonna go in with mugshot which is this brownish color right here Whew. I tell you guys that's not even the right color what did I say? Mugshot, here we go. Ooh. These lights are so hot today. Normally, I do my whole face and I can just do, you know, and I'm fine. But I guess because I'm talking and I'm a little excited and I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. I am a little nervous. But that's okay, you know. Some people, you just got, 
You just gotta warm up sometimes. I'm gonna be sticking that mug shot color right here into the crease. Um, and I did tap this off as well because I'm not going to try to go too heavy in with this because it is very pigmented. Um, just going with the same. And I'm going to do a little above my crease, kind of more up on my brow bone. Um, because my eyes aren't hooded, but I definitely get that crease in there. So I feel like I def if I do stick like a lot of color just in that crease they just get so heavy I don't know maybe I'm doing it wrong who knows so anyway I've got this uh, first color down now I'm gonna go in with the same color but instead of just focusing on the outside I'm actually just gonna kind of move into the inside right here and put that right in the crease And this is actually just something I've started to do. I've never used to put any color on the inside. I would always focus all the darker colors on the outside, thinking that that was going to make my eye look larger. Um, but, you know, it doesn't make my eye look small, like just putting this color in. And it looks so pretty. I just love it. It's going to be sticking that right in here. One thing I'm going to do after I do that is I'm going to go in with dark side, which is right here. Tap that off. And I'm going to go in a little bit below my crease right here on the edge. Just do that right on the lid area and then with the excess I'm not going to redip because it's going to be too heavy I'm going to just go underneath right into my lower lashes so it kind of just gives it a little smoky look same on this other side. Go right below the crease. And with what's ever left, whatever's left over, just kind of work that right into your lower lash line. About halfway. I don't go all the way because if you have anything really too heavy or too dark right in the um, inner corner of your eye, it does tend to just, um, I don't know, it does that for me anyway. I, I just like to have uh, on the lower lash line, just it just be on the outside. So, whatever you want. If it looks good on you to go all the way in, girl, you do it. So, I think that looks pretty good. So, this is what we have right now. Now, what I'm going to do, this is my favorite thing. I just learned this this year. Just by watching YouTube, you can learn so many things just by watching YouTube and watching different people um, and just all the different looks. It's just awesome. I am going to go ahead and get the flat side of my brush wet. Okay. And it's just a little damp. It's not uh, super wet or anything. Like, it's not dripping. Um, and I'm going to pick up the color uh, Trick, which is this shimmery gold color right here and this is gonna just like this blow this like literally blew my mind when I watched when the girls do that whenever you get your brush wet it changes dramatically the color of the eyeshadow and it sticks on like the pigmentation is like 100% it's so great but I'm gonna actually just follow my lid all the way into uh, just a little over the center of my eye um, where my pupil is and I I'll try to get up really close right here I'm just going to follow this right over here and I'm going to kind of just press that color down. I'm just going to kind of press it in. Just on my lid. And this just gives it such a pretty look. It's so shimmery. I just love it.
I feel like this is kind of more of like a daytime look. I don't really think that this is like dramatic enough for like a dark evening look. Um, but you know, to each their own, whatever you think is dramatic or subtle, you know, that's up to you. But I just, I think that this is more of like a, kind of like a daytime, maybe if you're doing pictures or, you know, you're going on like a date. I actually did this look uh, when my husband and I were going on a date and he was like, your eyes look so pretty today. Which is my husband, so, you know, he says all kinds of things to me. Whether they be true or not. <laughs> I hope it's true. I hope he thinks that I'm attractive. <laughs> but... Anyway, so I just like went through halfway through that, and um, I'm just gonna do a little bit more blending. This time, I'm gonna do blending um, in with the black heart, which is on the very end. Go back in with that same fluffy brush, tap that off, and I'm just gonna go right into the crease right here, and I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit more. Kind of just focus on the outer corner and on the crease. See I've got a little bit of fallout right here but that's okay that'll go away as soon as we uh, wipe away our uh, baking. Also going to go right through here just kind of focus on the outer corner and up into the crease about halfway. so crazy. I'm going to turn off my lights for just a second just so you can kind of see the difference because I kind of feel like it's almost muted out because it is so bright in here. So let me turn these off for a second and let everything readjust. So you can kind of see whew, that lighting is so hot. <laughs> you can kind of see how shimmery it is. And I feel like you were kind of missing that um, with the lights on. Um, so I don't know I just think that looks so good I just love it um, but I am gonna kind of dust this bra brush the fluffy brush off and I'm gonna go in with uh, the limit color which is a light pink which is right here and I am basically just gonna kind of blend out um, up on the upper brow bone just so everything is really blended and we don't have to worry about any creases or anything like that so that is it. I went ahead and finished up with CoverGirl Black Onyx Eyeliner. Uh, I've been using this forever. It's very simple to use and I also followed up with that with the Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express Mascara which I also got from Walmart. And then I just added a little bit of lip gloss um, which is no idea where I put it. I literally just had it. It is this right here. <laughs> it is called Real Her. I am a fighter. Um, and it is in the color Brilliant, I believe. Um, I do like this. Um, I, I don't like how glossy it is. I am a, like a matte lip wearer, but I think it's okay with this look, like with the shimmer and highlighter and stuff. Um, I will say, ooh, it's a little crooked right there, um, that I'm not a fan of this foundation. It took me about 30 minutes to tell you all that, but I don't think that I would probably wear this foundation again. Um, I actually can see it, I don't know guys, I'm just not very happy with it, I'll tell you that. Like, I would 100, I mean, this just works so much better than this does, to be honest. I mean, let's just be honest. Let's like quit trying to make something better than it is. Um, and I do believe that this is a little bit more expensive um, than this is, but you know, we'll see. Um, also, this is my very first video, so if you can just comment down below what you would like to see, um, different things, I will try my best to respond to you. Um, also, please remember to subscribe, like this channel, and if you want to look at more, just hit that little bell. Thanks for watching my video today. I really hope that you liked it. If you'd like to comment or subscribe and like this video, I would be so grateful. Have a great evening.